We're at the doctor. One month appointment. Really happy. Oh, and you spit up. I've got Porter here to help me. Are you my helper? Yeah. Yeah. He's like in the ladder. And he spit up a little. Huh. You having fun? I think she likes to crinkle paper. I need to go back. The room is pink, just like Avery. It's your favorite color, huh? She's so happy. He's so happy. Are we having fun? <laughs> hey. hey guys, how are you all? It is the morning, barely the morning. It's 11 a.m. I am just feeding Avery, so I'm not going to show you because I got my boobs out and everything. Um, but I'm feeding Avery. She's eating, and then we have to go and pick up Grayson from preschool. We got to leave in like 10 minutes. But I am pulling out the camera because today has been, has been, and will be such a busy day. We already went and got the kids ready for um, the day, which already is a task in itself to do three kids at once took Grayson to preschool and then we actually had Avery's one month pediatrician appointment today. So she turned a month old a couple days ago on Sunday, today's Wednesday. And so we went to the pediatrician, got some updated stats on her. She gained almost two pounds since the last time we went there. So she's like eight pounds, 14 ounces. She's so big now. Although when I had both my boys and they hit the one month milestone, they were about 10 pounds each. So she's still pretty little compared to what they were. So she's gained a lot of weight. So they were very happy about that. She's the exact same height. 21 and a half inches and her head is still super tiny i think it's grown i have to look at the stats like when they send it to me they like send me the exact numbers but she is still in like the 20 something percentile for her head circumference so her head is tiny but all my kids have had tiny heads but other than that, it was good. I did have a couple of questions that I went and asked the pediatrician of things I weren't really sure about. Sorry, I had to switch Avery's sides that she was feeding on because she was done. I asked three different things that were kind of concerning to me. I mean, not that really concerning, but things I was kind of curious about. One is she has a ton of eye burgers all the time, especially when she's been sleeping for a long time and then wakes up. Like her eye is just so crusty and has so many eye burgers. And he said exactly what I had Googled, which is that she just has probably blocked tear ducts. I guess it's very common they usually resolve themselves after like six months nothing to be concerned about there he said to just um let him know if the whites of her eyes turn red because then that would be a problem um so nothing bad there also she kind of has a concave chest um you can really see it when she's breathing in like it goes really deep like sunken into her so i asked him about that and he said it's just the way she is it's very common no it's not common but it's just the way she is um nothing to be concerned about it's like pectoral something i don't know he said some medical term that i can't remember so nothing too bad about that and then i also she has like a forked tongue so i asked him if like that was anything to be concerned about but he said no again it's just the way she is so you would think this being my third time through like having kids that I wouldn't have questions, but I don't know. I feel like with Avery, there's always something new with her. Um, she just has a lot of different things than the boys have had. Other than that, he said she's looking beautiful. She's looking awesome. She's gaining weight. Great. He had her like on her um stomach and showing her how she could lift her head so he was impressed with that he did say we should be doing tummy time about 30 minutes a day and i don't think we've been doing that we've been doing tummy time every day but it has not been for 30 minutes it's just been for like 10 maybe so we need to be doing that more of course not 30 minutes all at once like just a little bit here and there but definitely should be doing that more but she's looking great in the head head neck strength area anyway 
he asked like if she's starting to focus on me which she is um said she'll start making like more facial expressions as the month goes on she will just get better neck strength um things like that sorry porter's having a meltdown in the background it's not enough that i gave him candy and cookie and a marshmallow he wants a million other things so he's being bad okay sorry porter just peed himself so now i have to go get him new pants and underwear which I think we're out of underwear because he's peed through all of his underwear. Ah, I'm just going crazy right now. Pediatrician appointment went well. I made another appointment for her two month, so we'll go back in a month. And I had to take Porter with me because like I didn't have anyone to watch him. Um, Grayson was at preschool, so at least I didn't have to take both of them. I just had to take one. And Porter actually did really, really well. He just sat on the bench and was quiet the whole time the doctor was there and didn't really interrupt us or do anything. So he was good. I mean, he had moments here and there, but he's two and he is really difficult lately, but that's okay. So got pants for him. He's just going to have to go commando because I don't have any more underwear. Other than that, Avery's looking great. We're about to go get gray and then um i have a work meeting i have to do and then we're gonna go to my mom's house after nap time where a couple of my siblings and i are gonna get together i am finally gonna ask um two of my siblings to be avery's godparents we do godparents i know not everybody does but we do so for my oldest grayson it's my sister allison and her husband garrett for porter his godparents are my brother philip and his wife ellie and so for Avery, I'm gonna have my sister Kelly and my brother Peter be godparents. Um, my sister Kelly does have a boyfriend, but they haven't been dating that that long. And my brother Peter is single, so we're just gonna do them two together. And so I'm gonna ask them to be godparents today. So I have their gifts. Here's their gifts. The pink one obviously is for my sister, blue one's for my brother. I went on Etsy and I got sweatshirts and one says Godmother and one says Godfather and it says like established 2023 and then it has like her name Avery on the sleeve. I thought they were really cute. I don't know if my sister and brother will ever wear them. I think they're really cute. I would wear it but maybe they won't like that. I don't know. But that's what I got for them and then I got a little card that says like will you be my God parent and um, so I'm going to give that to them so I can finally ask them to be Avery's godparents because over the weekend I was able to schedule her baptism so we're Catholic well I'm Catholic my husband is Lutheran but I mean it's all basically the same thing but we have baptized all our kids in the Catholic Church and so now it's Avery's turn so we scheduled her baptism for June I'm not super pumped about it because it's the day after my birthday it's like the only date that worked for everyone's schedule because we have a million people in my family but i really didn't want it the day after my birthday because it's not something i wanted to have to like worry about but it is what it is it just worked for everyone so that is a little over a month away because today's the third and the baptism is june 11th so yeah we have a little bit of a month away so i need to ask the godparents and then um i asked my mom if she would host the after party at her house so she's doing that for me so i don't have to like stress clean my house which at least that'll be nice but yes so we have that coming up i've got to take baptism classes and all that good stuff but that is starting to move so anyway i gotta go pick up Grayson. I'll pull out the camera when we go to my mom's house. We're going to do pizza. My dad's going to give my boys haircuts because they need them so bad. Um, Porter is pumped about the pizza, not so much about the haircut. Um, so I'll just pull out the camera here and there. But yeah, it's been a busy day. Gray is in his second to last week of preschool. His last week is next week. He graduates one week from tomorrow. So it's almost summer break for him. And I don't know what I'm going to do all summer. I'm going to go crazy. Say hi. So she spit up all over her other outfit, so I changed her into a three-month outfit. It's a little big on her, but she started to outgrow her newborn clothes, so I had to put some um, bigger clothes on her. And it's a little big, but it pretty much fits. You're getting so big. Let me say hi. We are back from my mom's. We're doing our typical party time of seven to nine. I don't know why I don't have her naked yet. I should, but I just wanted to show off her cute little outfit. 
Um, but I did end up asking my sister and brother to be Avery's godparents. I took this picture of them with their sweatshirts here. They, of course, said yes. I think my brother Peter was shocked. Like, he didn't think he was going to get asked to be her godparent. So it was fun. And, yeah, now she has godparents now. So that's so fun and exciting. And we had pizza and just caught up. A lot of my siblings came. And the boys love playing with their aunts and uncles and watching shows and eating pizza. And they've got hair cuts they look so much better um grayson will look so handsome for his preschool graduation not that that's like a big thing but it's a big thing to me so it's all good and yeah we had a great time and so now avery and i are just hanging out anthony's hanging out with his friends tonight um we're waiting for survivor to come on i've got my little avery to watch my reality shows with me now i guess so we're just gonna hang out um probably need to feed her because she's getting a little squawky if you can't hear her <laughs> on cue and yeah i think that's gonna be it for this vlog sorry it's really just me talking so hopefully my next vlog is a little more exciting. But anyway that's gonna be it and i'll see you guys next time bye say bye oh i say bye i'm mad Oh. Bye.